price the price of the hot dog. Uh, they used to, as I said, they used to call them the box that the Empire State Building came in. And um, it's very delicate uh, having 120 agencies in a 16-acre space in all the different domains. For example, the tube is underneath there, and one misstep, and they could derail you know, hundreds of people um, underneath there. There's three subway lines converging there, in fact. We're talking about the three subway lines from working there. It was they raised the cotton project because it was run by, it was run by a nonprofit. And the city forfeited $140 billion, million dollars a year in property taxes. So the suits are finally resolved. Remember Larry Silverstein sued Lloyd of, of London because they had said that it was one act of violence as opposed to two because there were two towers. But there were two separate acts. So he got one billion over what he had thought he would get, in fact. But um, they're already booked, all, the, all, this, all the space here. They should be finished in another 10 years, <laughs> all told. And there were 51,000 people working in them. And think of the computer monitors, how much, you know, just to think of it, the lead. The Cadman, I, I sound like George Bush now, I mean, I'm sorry, it's nice and But the Mercury and the fluorescent bulbs. That's where you see the scrimmed building it was meant to be the catch basin for all the toxins. And it's um, so um, toxic they couldn't even explode it. It had to take it apart, you know, um, piece by piece, in fact. And so it should at the rate of one floor per year. <laughs> so now I, I think it's finally in one fell swoop going to be raised to the ground. <laughs> but um, I just want you to see this. It's all, you know, should be finished, as I said, another 10 years. You know, the second tower to be struck was the first to fall because the planes came in at a lower angle. They didn't intend them to wait. They didn't anticipate uh, fully loaded planes flying in as missiles at the rate of 500 miles an hour and not being able to go to California. Also. And it, they say that it was the impact which knocked the asbestos. It wasn't embedded in the steel. It was knocked the asbestos down, which caused the temperatures to flare up to 1,200 degrees. But um, most of that steel ended up in, in Chinese cars. I mean, in, in Indian cars, rather, in Chinese skyscrapers. 